Good morning, 7th grade Wildcats. Welcome to May 4th through 8th. All right, let's dive in into what our work is for this week. So as always, we go to Schoolology. Hold on, sweetheart, mommy's making a video. And you find the course that you have me with. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna view the course as one of you so that what you see is what I see and what I see is what you see. All right, let's be, hmm, Sophia. I'm gonna be Sophia this week. Okay, so this is how you'll see the course. So treat this like a checklist. First, you go to the website and click here, or you can click here. And we find the applicable day, week in this case, and your class. All right, so announcements. Strive for progress, not perfection, because perfection is impossible, but progress incrementally progressing is a beautiful yeah, thing. Um, I know that I have been progressing, um, and I think you guys have too, based on the feedback I get. All right, so agenda, watch this week's instructional video, what I'm making now, I'll put the link in as soon as it's um, uploaded. Vocab words on Quizlet. The story this week is um, Craig Kielberg's Reflection on Working Towards Peace, and it's found in your collections, page 307 through 313. Again, there's a PDF of the collection book in Schoology if you're not able to get into your online book. Then, to check to make, your under to make sure you understood what you read, we have reading comprehension. It's about 10 questions. And then the concepts that we're focusing on from this text is an author's purpose. Now, if you have Ms. Strong for history, you guys are working on a friendly letter. Um, if you do not have Ms. Strong, then this doesn't apply to you. All right. In enrichment, we have some free rice, of course, for extra credit. Um, typing, improve your typing speed. I bet all of you guys are going to be fabulous typers, uh, typers after this whole online school it's like a crash course in typing and then if any amazing free stories read to you all right so have a healthy quarantine okay so now that we know what it is let's go find where it's at teleschool and eh, hold on sweetheart and then it's this week may 4th literally it's this week so click here okay hold on sweet pea so we have your vocabulary, this your textbook here. You wanna help? You can drink your juice and help me if you want. Mama? Yes, so you are. We don't have the grape juice. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have the grape juice, but that juice is good too. All right, and it's page 307. So you've read different versions of the Triangle Factory Fire, which by the way, is why we have every month a fire drill. It's because of this historical event. They, we have uh, fire drills now in schools. And the reason, if you pay attention to how doors open in public buildings to go in the building, the doors open out because um, that solves the problem that was encountered here. So this event changed the way buildings are built and changed um, our safety procedures. Just like COVID's gonna change safety procedures too, I think, or has changed safety procedures. Procedures. Mommy's go up. Hold on, okay, mommy's, this, mommy's making a video. Ah, here we are. So Craig Kielberg, um, when he was only 12 years old, so he was like his age, um, he f made a foundation and um, international organization, and this is uh, the year the internet was invented, but I don't think it was viable for the average person yet. So pre-internet, he created this organization at 12 for 2 million youths, and it's um, to help people, uh, children from around the world. He's a very compassionate person, and he works towards peace. So this is a personal essay about him. He wrote it. Um, personal essays have different uh, purposes. It could just be for yourself. It could be 
um, trying to figure something out for yourself, uh, a memory, it's um, a personal essay. So read this story, please, or not story, the personal essay. I don't know why that's upside down, but it is, okay. Um, if you need to, print it out and flip, flip around the pages. Um, and then, mommy, hold on, sweetheart, please. Come on, stay there. All right, so, um, working. yes, honey, I'm working. Quiet? No, honey, I need you to be quiet, please. All right, so, um, that's the personal essay and the elements that personal essays contain. You might have written a personal essay if you're a journaler or you keep a diary, you might be writing personal essays um, and not even know it. And so um, author's perspective um, takes into account three main elements. Um, like their perspective is what they think, what they believe, um, which is also a part of their opinions. And tone, tone is how the author is trying to sound not how the reader receives it. Often they're the same thing, but not necessarily. For example, think about when you're in trouble with your parents, their tone is serious, maybe even stern, um, but everybody's had that mode when your parents are um, you know, serious and stern at you, but your mood is, um, you're trying to suppress a laugh, you find it humorous, and you know that if you laugh, it's not gonna be pretty. So tone and mood are not also always the same, but if generally, if the author's tone is sad and they're a good writer, then the reader's tone will also be sad. Likewise, with happiness, Ooh. joyful, any kind of adjective you can think of. All right. Um, and here's a statement. That day changed my life forever. And we can learn about what it reveals about his character as a person because he's affected by the stories of the hardship of others, which means he's compassionate. All right. So that is that text. Next on the agenda is the uh, reading comprehension. It's about 10 questions, multiple choice. Concepts, author's purpose, um, the practice for it, and then the quiz. And then we have an extra credit opportunity. So something light and fun. Um, this is a Cinderella version. And if you had me for sixth grade, you might have seen it already. Um, but if you did not have me from sixth grade, it's a new treat for you. But this movie is written by my favorite playwrights. Um, and it was a, the way they did this movie, the casting was very interesting. They did something called a racially blind casting. So the people who were giving the roles didn't see what the actors and actresses looked like. They were only listening to the sound of their voice um, their acting ability through their voice and their singing ability. So you get this really interesting mix because this is the king and this is his his wife and this is the, his son, their son. And um, so you get these uh, interesting pedagogies and then we're Cinderella's stepsisters. Yeah, so it's just... It's really cool. It's, I, I recommend it. It's awesome. The writing is good and, and the visually it's it's very um, intriguing. And then to get credit, um, you just do this discussion um, using the race method. Um, restate, answer, side, explain. What was your favorite song from this musical and why? And then you need to respond to at least one student's um, race method. But if you're the first one to do it, then you don't have to respond because there's no one to respond to, you know, so early bird, gets, early bird gets the worm. All right, so that is extra credit opportunity indeed. Why are you talking? And then if you need me, I am in the Google Meets link, or will be as soon as this video is uploaded. <laughs> Love you. All right, have a good day, everyone. I will see you in the Google Meets if you need me shortly.